technology to remove the planet-warming greenhouse gas CO2 from our atmosphere must be urgently ramped up. That's according to leading climate experts in a new report. It does need some explanation, so let's take you to our environment correspondent, Jonah Fisher. Jonah, I thought the plan was that we were going to plant a lot more trees. That's what we needed to do to get rid of CO2 in our atmosphere. What are these scientists saying now? Well, what these scientists are saying is that can only be part of the solution, that the problem is so severe uh, that, and that even if we do manage to massively cut uh, the amount of carbon dioxide that we're putting into the atmosphere at the moment, that nature will not be enough uh, on its own to compensate. So at the moment we have trees, forests uh, absorbing carbon dioxide from the, from the atmosphere. Soil under the right conditions does the same thing too. But what these scientists are saying in their report is that technology, more technology will be needed uh, in the future to take more of that carbon dioxide out of the air. At the moment, these technologies are relatively new. Some are in the process of being deployed, but effectively what, the, what these scientists are saying is right now we need to be putting more money into developing these technologies because further down the line, 5, 10, 20 years down the line, we may well need them to get more carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere and potentially even to try and help reduce uh, global temperatures uh, if they've continued to, if as expected, they continue to heat up at an alarming rate. And very briefly, Jonah, are there critics? of this kind of technology, fears perhaps that it just might be too expensive and people might see it as an excuse not to do other things. Yeah, that, that's what campaigners are worried about. They worry that the more we talk about technological solutions to the climate crisis, the less emphasis is put on what, what all scientists really agree is the core issue here, the amount of carbon dioxide that's being put into the atmosphere uh, by burning fossil fuels like gas uh, and oil. So there is a concern that it will encourage people to defer that moment, that moment of really pushing a transition away from fossil fuels uh, and that is a concern that has been expressed yes. Jonah good to see you thanks so much for joining us Jonah Fisher in Cardiff there.